Hi guys, and welcome back to Garage Tech. This is episode three in this series, reviewing the Porsche 987.2 Cayman and Boxster. In this episode, I'll be comparing and looking at the technical differences between the Porsche 987.2 Cayman and Boxster 3.4 engine and the 911's 997.2, 3.6 and 3.8 engine. The Boxster, Cayman and 911 um, Carrera from model year 2009 to 2012 all use the same generation of engine that was the 9A1 MA1 series. This was again revised in 2013 model year for the 981 and the 991. Some info on that can be found in my previous video. Also just to note that the 2.9 Boxster and Cayman 987.2 engine was slightly different as these didn't have the direct fuel injection. Again, I've covered some of that in episode one. So first off, let's take a look at some of the engine technical specifications. I've put the Boxer and the Cayman S alongside the Carrera and Carrera S. First things first, there's 10 horsepower difference between the Boxer and the Cayman. This is down to mapping. So from here on, I'll just use the Cayman S's MA121 engine for reference. Now, obviously they are all six cylinders with four valves per cylinder, and we're looking at the differences between the 3.4, the 3.6, and the 3.8. So let's start with the engine power output. The 3.4, the MA121 is 320 horsepower and 370 newton meters of torque, and their max engine speed is 7,500 RPM and produces 93.1 horsepower per liter. The 3.6 is the MA10, that has 345 horsepower and 390 newton meters of torque. Max RPM is the same as 7,500 and has 95.6 horsepower per liter. The 3.8, the MA101, is 385 horsepower and 420 newton meters of torque. Same max RPM, but it breaks into the 100 horsepower per liter club with a rated 101.3 horsepower per litre. As an overview, this image shows the major engine components and the ones that are shared between the three engines. The obvious differences are the intake plenum chamber, oil filter housing, pistons and the camshafts. I'll take you through the technical changes to these as I talk through, but what's important to note here is that not all of the shared components are identical, the block or the crankcase are different part numbers as are the cylinder heads. Whereas some components are identical, sharing the same part numbers like the high pressure, the high pressure fuel pump, the com rods, the oil pump, sump and the timing chain, just to name a few. So let's look at how the engine size is determined. The cylinder bore, the 3.4 is 97 mil the 3.6 is the same, 97 mil, and the 3.8 is larger at 102 mil. The stroke, that's best described as the length or depth of the cylinder or the piston travel. The 3.4 is 77.5 mil, the 3.6 is 81.5 mil, and the 3.8 is 77.5 mil. So how about that? The 3.4 and 3.6 both have the same bore size yet the 3.4 and 3.8 have the same stroke size. So I know what you're thinking, why not make an engine with the bore size of 3.8 and the stroke size of 3.4 or 6? Well, that is precisely what Porsche did to achieve the four litre displacement in the um, GT3 RS and the new 718 Cayman GT4. All three engines use the same size Comrod at 140 mil so they have increased the stroke on the 3.6 by increasing the crankshaft stroke. The 3.4 and 3.8 use identical crankshafts and they are the same part number. Now the pistons are different as the piston crown, that's the top of the piston, are designed in such a way that they make up actually part of the combustion area. So these have different part numbers and obviously the 3.8 pistons are bigger due to the increased bore size. Now let's take a look at some of the other differences. The camshafts, the valve lift and opening, 
All three engines have the Vario Cam Plus, that's the variable cam timing. So the inlet valves can be adjusted or opened or closed earlier or later with an adjustment range of 40 degrees of the crank angle. And they switch over to the higher cams at around about 4,000 RPM. Now, there's um, a difference in the valve lift, that's how far the valves actually open, which is determined by the size of the cam loads. The 3.4, 3.6 have the same size valve lift, whereas the 3.8 has a slightly larger lift on the large intake cam and on the exhaust cam. It also has a difference in the valve opening times. So on all three engines, the intake small cam lift is 3.6 mil, the 3.4 and 3.6 engine valve lift is 10.5 mil on the large cam, whereas the 3.8 is 11 mil. The exhaust cams, the 3.4 and 3.6 have 10.35 mil of lift, and the 3.8 engine has 11 mil of lift. Onto the opening time. Again, the 3.4 and 3.6 have the same opening times, whereas the 3.8 is different on all three cams. So on the large cam, on the 3.4 and 6, the intake opens 19 degrees after top dead center, that's TDC. The 3.8 is 11 degrees after TDC. The intake closes on the large cam on the 3.4 and 6 at 62 degrees after bottom dead center, BDC, and the 3.8 is 59 degrees after BDC. On the small cam, the intake opens on the 3.4 and 6 at 44 degrees after TDC. The 3.8 is 39 degrees after TDC. The intake valves close on the small cam on the 3.4 and 6 at 14 degrees before BDC. On the 3.8, it's 19 degrees before BDC. Onto the exhaust valves, these open at 40 degrees before BDC on the 3.4 and 6 and 50 degrees before BDC on the 3.8. Lastly, the exhaust valves close 3 degrees after TDC on 3.4 and 6 and 4 degrees after TDC on the 3.8. So to summarise, the 3.8's cam timing opens and closes earlier on the intake valves with a larger or higher lift and the exhaust valves open uh, earlier and closes 1 degree later uh, with also a higher lift. All this combined increases the volumetric efficiency needed to increase the air volume which aids the increased power. 3.4, 3.6 and 3.8 litre engines are fitted with different injectors that are designed specifically to suit the engine's respective fuel requirements. The injectors can be differentiated by the different part numbers and by colour marking. Another change between the 987.2 and the 997.2 is the oil filter location. On the 987s, the oil filter is located underneath, whereas on the 911s, it's up top, so you can access it when opening up the trunk. The oil filling quantities is roughly the same on all three engines at approximately 7.5 litres for an oil and filter change uh, with its integrated dry sump lubrication system with the on-demand oil pump. The engine layout configuration is obviously different between the 987 and the 911. The 987 being a mid-engine car, so the engine is positioned uh, actually in front of the rear axle and the 911 sits behind the rear axle. This means there are some design differences with the intake system. So the air filter housing is different with it being right at the rear or the front of the engine on the 911. Uh, the air filters on the 911 feature a two branch air cleaner system with two intake locations and separate intake snorkels located in the rear lid. The 987s have just the one intake location which routes to uh, the air duct on the left. The filtered air then passes through the throttle body. This is what you control with the accelerator pedal. So the harder you press it, the wider it opens, the more the engine can breathe, etc. The 987s have the 74 mil throttle body and the 997.2 have the larger 82 mil throttle body. The air then passes its way into the plenum chamber, which helps equalize the pressure for a more regular supply. Now, this is different on all three engines, largely due to the difference in the required air volume between the three, but obviously the 3.4 looks a bit different because of the engine positioning. The 3.4 and 3.8 version also had a tuning flap inside the plenum chamber, which helps improve the torque at lower RPMs. 3.4 has two flaps, the 3.8 has one, and the 3.6 doesn't have any. 
Onwards on to the intake manifolds. These are actually identical part numbers on all three engines. The engine is technically positioned 180 degrees around in the 987 to the 911s as all the auxiliary components like the AC compressor, water pump and the belt are right at the rear of the car on the 911 but on the 987s it's right behind the driver. This means that cylinder number one is located right on the right hand side towards the front of the car whereas on the 911 it's on the left towards the rear. The exhaust systems are obviously slightly different in design due to the engine layout. Both have a, a double chamber exhaust system with pre-cat and main catalyst close to the engine. Now that sums up the engine differences. As you can see, there are a number of similarities between the three, but uh, there are some unique changes, which is relevant obviously to the power increase. Now, something that I haven't mentioned in this series yet is the gearboxes. I've had a few comments from the last few episodes about the gearbox ratios. So in my next episode, I'll be taking you through the details of the 987 gearbox, the manual and the PDK, and comparing them with the 981 and the 911's 997.2. Okay, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. As always, if you have any comments or recommendations, leave them in the comments section below. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Okay, that's it guys. Take care.